Hey everybody, how we doing today? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day here in the Florida Keys. Got blue skies, flat water. Uh, what's this thing up here? Uh, just some wood. And we got some nice clean flats out here in the back country. Finally making it back out. Haven't been out here for a while. Been trying to save that gas money. Uh, but made the run out and uh, so we're gonna check it out see what's around uh, Water looks pretty nice today. So I'm uh, gonna do some flats. It's a little bit of island a little bit of everything See what the bait situation is see what kind of fish are around. So it's kind of gonna be a smorgasbord day So that's the plan Look at that. It's like a bunch of dolphins. They're just little tiny uh, tarpon <laughs> Look at them little dolphins uh, let's go play with them man they're just having fun over there they're right over there running along the shoreline I'm gonna try to run up get in front of them right about there I don't think I have a bait really ready for them they're making it easy to find see them submarining there like a bunch of little dolphins use my geometry Pop, pop, pop. And what do we got here? Uh, we'll go with the bucktail jig. Uh. There they are. They might be like their moms and dads on the run. On a mission to go somewhere. Yeah, they were like, see you later. Dang it. I see these guys playing over here. Look at that big old shark. Looks like a lemon. Quit messing with my tarpon. Mr. Lemon Shark. It's kind of like uh, when the clouds roll over, they stop rolling, but then when the sun comes out, oh, there they are. I don't want to get too close in case they stop. Switching over to the uh, Shimano. Just nose hook. I don't know if I can reach them or not. Show yourself. This is an unweighted, just a live bait hook through the nose. God, I just can't. So I can work it right along the top. that massive swarm of uh, tarpon there. They're just hanging with me. Oh, and the cuda came and got it. All <laughs> those tarpon. There's just hundreds of those tarpons around. Can't get away from them. Except they're all just like little kids playing. They don't care about anything else. How rude. 
And the school there, there's another school over there. School's all the way down. Just kind of get distracted. I still need to do my recon, so keep pushing forward. Uh, I think these cow patty weeds are gonna kind of kill this whole spot over here. That's not good. Wow, the way it's looking, I can see orange across the whole horizon. That's not good. Now we're just in search of clean water. The school of tarpon there. Oh. They stayed to the right. I thought they were bonefish at first. Man, they're just tarping all over. Now this side is not so bad, so I'll take my time and work this edge here. See what I see. Like good thing the fish will be pointed that way, so I might be able to spot them. I'm gonna take my time looking underneath all these little cuts for uh, shadows and such. The, the current is, uh, I mean the tide is high, so stuff can get way back in there. But, just in case something's out, especially sitting out in these little sand patches. Oh man, I don't know what to do. It's orange all the way out there as far as you can see. Huh. Note good. Oh, no wonder those tarpon were like, let's get out of here. All these weeds were coming. That's where I was seeing them right along here. I hate to do this, but I think I'm going to head east and try to find an island maybe past all these weeds. But none of this is fishable, so I can't do anything. So I'm going to go south and then start heading east and island bounce until hopefully I can find some clean water. Now the south side looks much better. See all the kudas. Permit, there he goes. Permit. Saw a shark around here too. Oh, there's a shark. So, nice looking water over here. Good visibility. It's got some good depth, so we're at two, two plus feet. And we've got a permit, so. I see a lot of flat skies always staged up over here. I always wondered why. It's got some real nice broken bottom here, so that would be it. Big cuda there. I don't have a cuda tube. Look at these big old bowl sponges. A lot of structure. I like to see a lot more sharks. Well, it's definitely cuda central. Look at all those cudas. <laughs> they like this nice clean water as well. Another island, another bunch of tarpon. Except these are like really big. Not real gigantic ones, but these uh, juveniles, they're on the larger size. So they're just hanging out here with that current. See if that sun comes out. This is a different island. See all those tarpon right there. Waiting for me, mocking me. they'll go for. Will they go for a Schmino? See him just sitting right there. Nose. Oh, what the heck is going on there? I still only have the bonefish uh, leader on my fly rod, otherwise I'd be throwing that. Plus, some of these are pretty big and that's that kind of worries me and all these kudas and I've only got one uh, one shimino see these are all the tarp in there All those kudas are after it. Dang kudas. Uh, 
<laughs> They're all lined up there. All of them. In that pool there. Get some footage. Man, there is just tarpon all over the backcountry. It's not the big adults, but want to come catch one. They're definitely here. All right, we're going to try throwing the Schmino. It's weightless with just a live bait hook through the nose. That way it'll float up on top. See if one of these guys will slurp it down. Oh, the snapper's looking for it. You gotta watch out because the snappers and kudas will get it. Oh, he slurped it, but let it go. Oh, he got it. <laughs> oh, dang it, my camera was off. He inhaled it, but it didn't. Oh, is that one coming after it? Oh! He ate it and spit it out again. Oh no! Kuda! Kuda I grabbed it. Alright, so if the tarpon are just being too picky, go for the sure thing. Get the cash net out, find some filters or mohara. See if we catch some. What is that? Oh, mango snapper. I don't want you. I want pinfish. Or Mohara. And we got a mangrove snapper. That's not going to do. Do it again. I'm just kind of blind casting. Well, there's a nice mangrove there. Try to catch them in these weeds. Oh, I see some flashes. There's a little flash. Oh, there's a nice one. Get in there. Ah, got a couple of uh, pinfish. All right, so if the tarp are not cooperating and you just want to catch one, this is the guaranteed way. Bobber, circle hook, pinfish. Usually what I do is end up dropping them in the water, so try to be careful. I've only got two. That should be more than enough. Just through the back there since they're going to be perpendicular. And that bobber's going to keep them from getting down into the grass. And there's our tarpon. There's a bunch over there. There's a bunch. Got the camera set up, tarpon are ready. 
pinfish ready, bobber ready. Okay, I don't want to throw it right on them, so I'm gonna get it kind of past and hope the snappers and the uh, kudas don't eat it, which I think they might. I don't want to get it too close. See, look at all those vultures and the weeds. All right, so we've got to go a little closer. There we go. Snappers are molesting them. Oh, tarpon's got it. Either the bobber. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it jumped and I was pulling on it. And I lost my bobber. I was screwing around, trying to triple check my hook set. And that's how you catch a tarpon. Don't land a tarpon, but that's how you hook a little greedy tarpon there. Dang it. All right, so that's kind of how you do it. Uh, the guaranteed way, uh, pinfish under a bobber, you really can't beat it. I'm not necessarily targeting the tarpon, otherwise I could have spent all day just catching these things. Uh, just cast net or uh, line hook a bunch of uh, pinfish, throw it under a bobber and just drift it past them. They just can't resist that. It's such an easy, tasty meal for them, so definitely takes the fun out of it. But if you definitely want to catch a tarpon, that's the way you do it. So as long as you just have those core basics, you know you can always catch them when you want to. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Give me my bobber back. Yeah, that's why I'm always picking up these old crappy bobbers out there. I like them when they're smaller, tighter, compact for that kind of uh, bobber fishing where I don't need a big old bobber. This whole basin is full of tarpon. You can see them all just rolling in there. I know what I'm going to call this video. Backcountry equals tarpon and weeds. Look at all of them. Weeds and tarpon, tarpon and weeds. Man, it just it just goes like that. Just a river of tarpon. I need my uh my bass frog. Topwater frog. <laughs> Man, look at him. It's like that one it's like salmon a school of salmon going down a river spawning just so many so many tarpon and so little fishermen nobody who's going to educate these tarpon so that they grow big without being caught I guess that's up to me so I've still got one more pinfish. I didn't use it. So I guess I'll just throw that guy out there and see what happens. Must be very quiet. Get a little bit closer because I'm greedy. Look at all of them. Gulp, gulp, gulp. This goes down. I'm gonna drop the anchor. I'm feeling lucky. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Get tension. All right. All right, let's launch it in there. Boop, 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 boop. Someone come eat my pinfish. They might be just playing and not hungry at all. 
Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, they're eating my uh, bobber. There it is. Don't disrupt all your friends. Oh, that's going to ruin it. <laughs> right down the middle of it. I got very light drag on now, so jump all ye want. Well, he was thinking about it. They actually ate that bobber after it fell off. And then they ended up taking it down and spitting it back out. I wish I had a, a weedless topwater, but well, I got that shrimp. Where's my anchor at? Got weed in his face. Actually, own it. Go ahead and pull us out of here. Nice. I don't think it's going to freak him out too much. Yeah, because uh, I was seeing them jumping. Letting the wind kind of push me away from there. As long as I don't get too close to the island. All right, time to put some pressure on them. Jump. You done? All right, that's good. Beauty. Yep, fight down. Don't jump. Don't jump. Make this quick and easy. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> you did good, buddy. You did good. You all right? There he goes. There he goes. Ah, <sighs> nice.